Hello everybody and welcome to Law Cow Theater, the show in which I find the lousiest law cows on the internet and expose them to the world for your view and pleasure. I'm your host, Thacka Douglas, aka the Unhero, the internet's loneliest D-list personality, and today I'm collaborating with the executive producer extraordinaire, Ooh. Brandon Nathaniel. Now, I'm pretty sure you all remember that back in May I roasted the fear in his god-awful song, The Secret, which I still believe to be one of the worst rap songs of all time. But it gets worse. Mm-hmm. A whole lot worse, because I remember a month ago, I showed you it behind the scenes, like, on video footage, and we just can't get over how shit this behind the scenes footage is. Yep, you heard it correct. It gets worse. There's a behind the scenes version. No! Yes, Dark, we feel your pain. Uh, Brandon, of course, showed this to me some time ago, and, uh... I could speak about it, but you just gotta see it for yourself. So. We don't want to spoil it for you, but you yeah. just wait and see. So, without further dilly dallying, let's get to it. Hi, hi! <laughs> Can somebody please tell me what in the living fuck was that? Like, I mean, <laughs> I, I knew this behind the scenes video was gonna be shit, but you start out with that. Obviously. It sounds like a monkey being violently sodomized by a banana dildo. Seriously, it's like, hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It kind of sounds like similar compared to what a gorilla would, could, what could possibly do, you know? Yeah, it sounds like a gorilla getting fucked in the ass. That's pretty much <laughs> what that is. Anyways, let's just keep going. Well, it's the truth. I hope you like my video, but if you don't, really, fuck you. Fuck off, LaFear, for just making a very shitty rap music video and a very shitty behind-the-scenes footage. And I like how you happen to insult your viewer base. Great. Yeah, because that that's that's a that's a great way to get fans. It's a great way to get people on your side by essentially telling them to go fuck themselves if they don't like your music. That's kind of like saying, oh, if you don't like this, this music video, then suck my dick. Yeah, pretty much, but then again, you're a low-grade YouTube rapper that makes horrible rap songs, so you obviously don't give a shit. Let's get you stroll by with that pop. Work that pop on the way through. Slow, slower, slower. There you go. Keep There's two points I want to make here. That woman on his left is not in the actual video at all. Just not- I don't think even that scene outside the convenience store is in the video at all, no. so this is obviously something that was cut. And two, with the director giving directions, it's horribly unprofessional because as a director, shouldn't you be giving directions before you start shooting, not in the middle of the shooting? It may, it's incredibly distracting and takes away focus from the video. Not that this video is, is, is good to begin with, but uh... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck this director was thinking, man. On. There it is. <laughs> we need the hose right now. Cue the hose up. You guys don't mind getting wet? Alright, Rod. Do it, Rod. Do it, John. Make sure you have a... Now, folks, I don't know if you were aware of that, but, like, um, one of the guys happens to run through, like, um, during, like, uh, the shooting, which is very unprofessional, if you ask me. And the part where the producer calls the women, like, um, hoes, like, isn't that kind of degrading to say? Just call them women, like, don't call them hoes, because it sounds uh, totally I, I, degrading. You know, I think what he meant was the hoes, but given the cadence of his words, it sounds similar to hoes. I mean, they kind of are hoes, I mean, so even if he did, it wouldn't be too far off. But, but still, it's it's kind of confusing. Yes, and a, a, a hose. Why hose? Couldn't you've gone in a fucking sprinkler or something? Surely that would be better than a than a goddamn hose, right? Oh god, this just this, this behind the scenes video just keeps this getting fucked. worse. This yeah, it's really fucked. We need the hose right now. Cue the hose up. No, Rod, you gotta get him. There it is, there it is. Keep going, act like it's not even happening, like it's regular. Get it good, Raj. Get them. All of them. Don't, no, you gotta act like it's not happening, like it's regular. 
So I don't know if you noticed that, but the director sounds like he's almost getting off to this shit. Like he's one sentence away from just jerking off and saying, Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's, cause it's, cause the way he's directing them and say, yeah, you, you act like it isn't even happening. Yeah, slower, like that, like that. It sounds really creepy. It almost it sounds like he's, he's almost wanting to jerk off to these women. Like he's almost going to jerk off while filming this video. I don't know. It just sounds really 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 creepy and it doesn't help that the director is probably some creepy nerd also i want to point out something the director almost sounds like my best friends like on boston now not just like him but 50 50 compared to him it's really weird i mean honestly i'd i'd honestly rather listen to hank hill than listen to this fucking guy ever again <laughs> there you go there it is keep it going get it on him raj hit him with the jet if you don't like my music, then you a bitch. So. <laughs> we may be bitches, but we're not crackheads. My nigga, you just got roasted. Yeah. yeah. That's how it is. Shaky, shaky, baby, get butt, nigga. Yeah. There you go. I like it. Stop, princess. Keep going. Dance right there. Brandon, did he seriously just call her princess? Princess? Is that actually her real name or stripper name or hooker name? I don't know. He just called the pregnant woman what with the, the mustache fuck? princess. And furthermore, what the fuck is a, is a pregnant woman even doing in a rap music video as a video vixen? Lafir, if you wanted a video vixen, couldn't you have found some prettier looking women? Because to be honest with you, these women are not flattering in the least. They look like a bunch of $2 hookers you would find on Craigslist or something. Come back and dance, two steps back. Right there, so keep dancing. Keep rapping, Lafir. All right, one more time with the pop. Come through slow. Go. <laughs> and if you don't like it, then fuck you. You a bitch. You, you, you a whole ass motherfucker. Fuck you. I find it truly sad that a man in his 40s honestly believes he has haters. And by the way, Lafir, actually, you shouldn't be called Lafir. You should be called the pussy. How about that? That would be an adequate name for him because he says, oh, if you don't like my music, then you're a bitch. Yet he makes horribly awful rap. That can make that makes people want to come out and criticize. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let let's just continue. Fuck it. Let's just... For real. I mean, either we gonna do this or we not. Hey. hey. Yeah. Dance. I want y'all freaking on him right now. Maybe not that deep yet. Hang on. Hang on. There you go. Now Lafir, look at look at Princess. Do the same thing. Tell her to get in. Get in, Princess. Get in the car. No, same door, same door. To say that this video has horrible lip syncing would be an immense understatement. Not only is he trying to be the next future because he's mumbling, he's like, moo, 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 moo. so you can't even understand what the fuck he's trying to say. And the words are not even matching up with what he's saying. The lip syncing is way off. I don't know if anyone can notice that, but it, it, it's, it's just so noticeable. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I, ha I have to talk about it again because it just bugs the crap out of me. The director giving directions while he's shooting the video. This video is so disorganized that he couldn't even give directions before saying action, he's doing it in the middle of filming. It's just, oh god, I, I just, I just want this video to be over. And there's still like a minute and a half left. Oh god, kill me now. Tell her to get in again. Get in. Now keep rapping. Baby, Start dancing in the background, miss. Baby, true. To the right of there, you go. Perfect. Stop, right here. Stop right where you're at. No, keep going. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Like take you back, Jump, jump. Yeah, you girls. <laughs> there it is. Not oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Jump. Oh my god, you made something good. Oh wait. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Yep. 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 Is the producer that blind or retarded to realize that there is already water there and the fact that the women are already beside him? Like, what the fuck? Why would you need a hose? There's fucking water everywhere. You're in a goddamn pool. Why, why would you need water? Why would you need a hose? Like, I, I swear, I keep losing more brain cells the more and more I watch this shitty video. I mean, god damn it. Where's the hose? Can we get a jet? Can we get a jet? Hit him with a jet. <laughs> yes. Whoa! The fear! What the what fuck was that? Are, are you trying to look like the black Mickey Mouse or something? Like, what the fuck was that for? That, what, what, what was the purpose of that? I mean, that has to be the most creepiest smile I've, I've ever seen. He's like, is this like, is, that, is this supposed to be some kind of fucking joke or something? Like, like, the video's been people? deadly serious up until this point, and he's like, Everybody, let's start the show! I'm a rapper! Oh my god. Why? Just, no. Just, oh. Let's just finish this shit. Now, at the end of this song, when it gets near, I want you to put your hand on each one of their heads and shove them underwater when it's over, to end it. Can you do that? dickhead laughing like oh shoving women under the pool is the funniest thing ever in a rap music video i'm so clever i'm so funny hee 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 her 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 yeah yeah it, it's really amusing you fucking prick <laughs> I got a lot of haters and a lot of waiters i see a lot of haters that look like a lot of waiters can you explain what that was to me, Brandon? I got a lot of haters that look like a lot of weirdos. Like, what the fuck, Lafir? Like, that doesn't make no sense. I mean, at all. yeah, he, okay, he rhymes haters with waiters, <laughs> and he rhymes haters again with haters. I, I thought the purpose of rap and hip hop was that you were supposed to rhyme. You don't rhyme the same thing, with rhyme the same something thing. different. Yeah, that's, Stop. that's like. You are so retarded, Lafir. But look it's at really, yourself. if you really think about it, it's no different than 90% of rap songs that just rhyme nigga with nigga, so. Ugh. I go out to eat in them same haters of them same waiters. And I love to fuck with them same waiters and tip them. Because them same haters is them same waiters that still listening. How you niggas feel? This song is shit. This behind the scenes video is shit, and continuing to talk about it any further would destroy the brain cells of the entire human race. The fear, look, if you want if you want to make better like um rap music video, at least hire out a a rap artist. And yes, I know it may take months and months of practice, but you gotta step up your game, because if you don't, you're gonna have people like me and that kid Douglas, like I'm making fun of you, just like what we're already doing. And you're gonna have like um popular YouTube stars like Ethan Klein from HVH Productions, iDubs, and Lewis Spears roasting big time, which that is something that you do not want. And I'm pretty sure there's a book for dummies on how to rap, and I'm pretty sure there's a tutorial on how to rap so it can't be that hard but then again you've probably already confined yourself to be an internet wall cow we're just a bunch of losers from durham region so what what the fuck does our opinions matter to you now we could talk about this until the cows come home but i think we've made our points pretty clear so we're just gonna end it here this is that kid douglas aka the unhero and this is brandon nathaniel aka big b217 signing out deuces stay frosty and keep it weird <laughs> cue an outro sequence now